Welcome to this Skillpad video resource where we make learning fun. In this video, we're going to look at locomotion in mammals. Have you ever wondered how we are able to move upright without falling over, or how our bodies, seemingly without effort, can bend, twist and turn in all sorts of directions? It's a marvel, isn't it? The secret lies in the complex and efficient system that is our musculoskeletal system. First, let's delve into the human skeleton. Acting as the framework of the body, it supports and protects our organs, while also providing the anchor points for our muscles. There are two main parts to the skeleton, the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton. The axial skeleton is the central core of the body, composed of the skull, the vertebral column, and the thoracic or rib cage, which includes the ribs and sternum. These bones protect our vital organs such as the brain, heart, and lungs. On the other hand, the appendicular skeleton consists of the bones of the limbs, together with the pelvic and pectoral girdles. These bones are responsible for movement and interaction with our environment. Now, imagine the skeleton as a series of levers, and the muscles as the forces that act on these levers to cause movement. Muscles are attached to bones by tendons, and when they contract, they pull on the bones, causing them to move. But how do the bones move without crashing into each other, you may wonder? The answer? Joints. Joints are where two or more bones meet, and they are designed to allow for different types of movement. Some, like the hinge joints in our elbows and knees, allow movement in only one direction, while others, like the ball and socket joints in our shoulders and hips, allow for a wide range of motion. Now let's talk about muscles. There are three types, skeletal, cardiac, and smooth. Skeletal muscles are what we typically think of when we talk about muscles. They are attached to bones and are responsible for voluntary movements. Cardiac muscles, found only in the heart, control the heart's contractions. Smooth muscles, on the other hand, are found in organs and structures like the esophagus, stomach, intestines, bronchi, uterus, urethra, and blood vessels. They control involuntary movements within these organs. Finally, it's important to mention muscle cramps, a common issue that many of us face. They occur when our muscles contract involuntarily and do not relax. The main causes are often dehydration, muscle strain, or holding a position for a prolonged period. Prevention measures include staying hydrated, stretching before and after exercise, and maintaining a balanced diet. So, there you have it. From our axial and appendicular skeletons to the various types of joints and muscles, each component plays a crucial role in our ability to move. Whether you're running a marathon or simply reaching for a cup of coffee, remember the intricate dance of bones, muscles, and joints that makes it all possible. Let's now turn our attention to the vertebral column, the main axis of the body. The vertebral column, or spine, is a stack of 33 small bones known as vertebrae. In between each vertebra, we find the intervertebral disc, a kind of cushion that serves as a shock absorber and reduces friction during movement. The main function of the vertebral column? It's all about support, both for the body, providing structure and balance, and for the spinal cord, which transmits signals from the brain to the rest of the body. Now, not all vertebrae are created equal. We have five types of vertebrae, cervical, thoracic, lumbar, sacral, and caudal. Each type has a unique structure and function, allowing for different types of movement and support throughout the body. Interestingly, the number of caudal vertebrae varies from one animal to another depending on the size of the tail. Humans, for instance, have only three to five caudal vertebrae fused together to form the coccyx or tailbone. So next time you sit down, remember the amazing structure supporting you, your vertebral column. Thank you for using this Skillpad video resource. We hope it was captivating. Tag along as we delve deeper into the amazing world of science for your learning pleasure. We hope to see you again soon.